Welcome to Mystic Sister. Episode two. Episode two. Episode two. And in this episode, we're exploring things that we keep in our bags, our yes. favorite carry along, tote along items. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I guess these are all items we feel are reflections of who we are and ones that we just always keep with us, always want to have along with us. Yes. Um, and okay, yeah, I guess I'll start. That's a really cute bag. Yes. Too. This is a bag I got from Etsy. Love I love it. my Etsy. I love my vintage, but oh, yeah, I haven't named so it, but it's a very cute bag. And it holds my notebook this is the number one item i will start with the number All one the time. number one uh ever since i was a child i mean we referenced in our be your own bestie video um creativity yeah. uh notebook has always been with me since day one i like to say my first voice was my writing i knew who i was immediately um through my creativity from my sense of writing nice. um whether it be short stories poems but as i got older and even a little bit when i was younger i used to love writing lists yes i <laughs> love planning i'm a planner i'm an organizer i used to plan my weddings Aww. my fake weddings <laughs> what are my colors what are my flowers what are my That's this my so that funny. i never knew that i don't think we ever wedding planned together no and that was not something i did i don't know why but i think that was just like an early indication that i i just love to plan and organize funny. yeah and i guess weddings for young girls is yeah, like always was something what was there yeah. fun to plan and dream about but yeah i mean most of my notebooks hold uh, what's currently going on with my music projects or my Reiki projects, my life coaching, business plans, all of that. But I do have some little doodles in here. I have, um, I have some Mystic Sister plans. Um, I also have some, yeah, some little doodles and sketches of things that I'd like to integrate into my practices, and also some Reiki um, symbol drawing nice. practice as well. Notebook on. So me. what do you do with the old notebooks? Because I'm starting to have a notebook overload they're piling up but i don't want to let them go yep um, i just need to mm, i keep them <laughs> <laughs> and the great thing about there's a butterfly flying around yeah. come into the shot oh, there it is. <laughs> i think it came in it, it come did. back it did again. <laughs> yes <laughs> butterfly energy around us mm. um but yeah notebooks i have kept notebooks my whole life yeah and i think they're great to go back and refer to Girl, I need some type of organizing system then. They're oh, they're just like stacked up under my bed, like yeah, falling out now. Yeah, mine are. I um, love them. And actually, when I was living, I lived in London for a little bit, and I actually had to leave some behind because it was way too much weight to carry back. Mm -hmm. But I have a collection of notebooks that my friends are holding on to that as well. That is so funny. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think a great thing about notebooks is that I mean, you see yourself reflected back to you for whether sure. it is stories or poems or whatever or lists i mean it's always good to refer back to for for anything yeah for anything and i tend to write the same things over and over yeah. and that's just me well what i was doing for a little while is i would take some of my favorite pages and then just like rewrite them in my new notebook oh and sure get rid of the notebook that was kind of taxing and then mm. my other thing that i would do uh, I had two other ideas. So then I was just pulling the pages out and like mm. kind of sticking them in the new notebooks. So yeah. then that was like loose leaf paper just like in there. Right, right, right. And then I would go back through the notebooks and just tab. Like I add tabs to the pages that really meant mm. something to me. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Because yeah. I do like going back to them, but I also don't like clutter. And I know that I don't True. need to hold on to all of those ideas. That's a good point. I think when I have gone through back through some of them I have ripped out some pages for reference because yeah. some of that other stuff was just like oh that was just me blah yeah. blah blah yeah. and it didn't really hold much significance mm -hmm. um but yeah <laughs> oh, that's so special we have a our 
special guest butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, also in, in regards to notebooks, you know um, Octavia Butler. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had learned about her not too long ago mm -hmm. and how she like had written some stuff down that actually manifested into being into her actual life. So it's yeah. so magical. I think it's an important for us to write our dreams down because yes. they do manifest and um i don't know if you do a whole lot of podcasts but lavar burton has one oh. where he reads first of all it is my reading rainbow yes. fantasies all over again i love it's it borderline disgusting but <laughs> i really love his stories but he reads i want to say at least i think he's done a couple octavia butler stories oh nice and girl just his reading her stories are amazing his mm. reading it is just bliss yes I love it. shout um, out I'll maybe look for it before we go and I'll show it to you, but yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Really do you want to go back and forth or do you want to... Oh yeah, sure. Well, because I have my notebook too. So awesome. this, my notebook is a little bit also planner, which I need. Mm -hmm. um, and this one is right now mostly planner because it's brand new. But what I like fish. about it, yeah, this is gifts from Ariel. My whole wardrobe is like things that people have given me or left <laughs> at my house. <laughs> and Ariel is my biggest gifter. But like, I like it because the pages come out. Mm, so what I'm rad. probably going to do as I keep going through um, the book is I'm probably going to go to January and take all of this out for right mm. now and fill it up with papers um it doesn't always have to be loose leaf or it can be blank or grid paper but whatever but just so i can do all my note taking and stuff yeah but i do like the planner part as well because i was doing bullet journals for a while which i love I being you can have some oh my which God. i love um, because <sighs> oh uh, it's a place for That's me so to have both planning and calendar but also I could have my notes and I could do things like habit trackers, making sure I'm drinking plenty of water, keeping up on top of my sleep, tracking my cycle, stuff That's like that. That's organized. But the thing about it is that like, if you want to have, you know, September's coming up, I gotta sit down and draw out a monthly calendar every mm. month and my weeklies, you know, like, I tried to put as many as I could on a page, but even still I was doing like two or three pages for a weekly mm. and then four weeks in a month. Like it was just a lot. That's and a lot. I know people will print templates sometimes too, but I just didn't want all that for just a basic calendar was all I needed. And so now the calendar is already there. Mm. Let's see. Ah! I'll show that. But um, yeah, the calendar is already there and, and I don't have to worry about that and I can do the rest of the stuff on my own. And of course, you know, when you buy a notebook, you can't just let it be. I had to decorate it. These, the little mermaid courtesy of Ariel. <laughs> and then that's me. I <laughs> the love it. The kid. You guys didn't know there was already a black mermaid. I love it. <laughs> um, I'll do stuff like hold on to cards. Um, mm. I really love the cover of it. I wrote an affirmation on the back didn't nice. love the inside of the card i guess as much yeah <laughs> do your own thing but yeah and stickers and stuff so um here's calcifer <laughs> miyazaki <laughs> fans shout out and yes some bestie love bestie here love. Uh, ariel and i almost brought my entire um photo book but i found like so many photos there is a photo uh i think his name was Kyrie. <laughs> there were so many photos of him and like if we had been any older it probably would have been creepy right? but we were just kids he and we just thought cute. he was so adorable yes he was the cutest little boy i love it so yeah that's notebook power notebooks are everything notebooks are life <laughs> notebooks are life write your yeah. life Cool. Let's see what's next in the mm. magic bag. <laughs> what? Pirate. Yes. Gotta have my healing, yes. grounding stone. All the time. Pyrite is a very special stone to me personally. Pyrite, AKA fool's gold. Yep. We'll bring that into the camera a little bit more. See it shine, see it bling, sparkle. Bling. This stone is symbolic for inner fire. Pyrite derives from pyre, 
the word pyre meaning mm -hmm. fire. Um, it is connected to the solar plexus chakra, which is all about your inner confidence, your inner fire, your ambition, your motivation, your dedication towards your dreams, your goals. Um, mostly for me, my creative goals. It is also connected with creativity. Nice. Um, and manifesting and attracting abundance and wealth. Oh, I love it. Spiritual, men mental, emotional, all of the above. Um, so yeah, work. it's super, super important to me. It is also referenced in a song that I wrote. <laughs> My favorite song. Yes. I don't, I just, that it touched me. But yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I also learned that it is, um, it was used for mirror, to make oh, mirrors back nice. in the day. I'm not cool. sure circa when. Yeah. But um, you can kind of even see yourself yeah, no, in you it a little bit. Yeah, no, you definitely can. That makes sense. When you said that, I was like, oh, snap. That was yes. Smart. Yeah. So it is a stone of reflection and revealing your inner truth. Yes. Letting those hidden selves, self-selves, come, come to the out. surface and yeah. shine bright. Like a diamond. Like a diamond. <laughs> like a star. <laughs> So yeah, that is my second um, favorite thing that I always keep with me. I always nice. tote around with me. Um, I don't want to like product promote. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but I love um, essential oils. I use the peppermint beadlets, especially to keep my breath fresh. And then, um, you know, I've got like uh, the roll-ons for just smelling good. Mm. A girl loves so smell nice. This is Let jasmine. Me see. Ooh, honey. And so like, and then you know the roller balls are really easy mm. to. Um, well, you can even just use these and pop the tops off. But you know you can buy them in bulk or whatever on Amazon and just make your own. Like add coconut fractionated mm. coconut oil. You want fractionated because that's gonna stay in the liquid form. You don't want like the coconut oil you cook with because then it's gonna get solidified in yeah. here and it's not gonna be so pretty mm. or so nice um and then like add whatever essential oils it is whatever your brand is wherever you buy them whatever it is you get um and add them to them so i have some of my personal blends too but once this jasmine is done i'm probably just gonna fill it up with whatever i want so it'll say jasmine oh yeah that's not what's good <laughs> <laughs> i love it that actually smells really mm -hmm. really good no, that's so nice horrible. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. I'm going to smell fresh all the time. <laughs> cool. Oh, okay. Number three. Yep. Our last one. Last one. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. And this one's actually going to be a little bit of product <laughs> promoting <laughs> shamelessly. But I just have to share. It's one of my favorite products. Shannon and I both love this love particular it. product. It is Monk. Sorry, my hand's a little shaky. Um, <laughs> Monk Zen Essential Oils personal therapeutic yeah. diffuser and what you do is you breathe it in through your mouth <laughs> demonstration <sighs> and out through your nose now yes. this is the zen blend it oh, has it is probably the best and it does make you feel so calm I like to have this with me when I'm in traffic, yes. <laughs> when I'm on the road. Mm -hmm. I could just pull this out and literally just like... Yeah. I love it. It's so peaceful. Calm and nerves. Yeah. I mean, really, like, you have to take a breath. You have to take a breath. And it, it, and it can smell good. It smells have... good. And it reminds you to take that intentional yes. breath. Yeah, you know? Does. I use it a lot before I go to places... If I feel like I'm gonna be nervous, yep. you know, and I gotta like stop and take a breath. And I usually carry incense around too. Yeah. Especially if I'm going to a birth, I gotta like get my energy right. Absolutely. Yeah, those... So aromatherapy is yes. perfect for that. So on the back of those essential oils, this does have um, frankincense, orange, and ylang ylang, along with a few others. Mm -hmm. But definitely check out the website. Um, it's Monk, M-O-N-Q, but they have so many awesome blends. This one just happens to be my favorite one. I love that <laughs> I one. always I have a Zen. I mean, I guess you stay on top of getting them. We just need to get some more. Cause I'm like, why is there still anything left in there? Like, oh, mine are all empty. <laughs> I have a collection. <laughs> I have quite the collection, actually. <laughs> Someone who used to carry gum in her purse when I was a kid, when I was in elementary school, before I discovered any other types of that was oral. A different one. We have butterflies all around us today, guys. So nice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, before I like discovered 
smoking in any form. Yeah. Gum, always, yeah, I was weed, a big whatever. Gummy, yeah. Always had gum. gum, so this is kind of like the next yeah. best thing. Yeah, and that's why I like the beetlets too, though. Like, you get your freshened breath, but it's also the aromatherapy. Like, you really get that peppermint. It's like a, hello. <laughs> Hi. So good. And it, it literally feels like air. Yeah. So, and it's therapeutic it's, air. It's a diffuser. It's um, water and essential oil. It's yep. Nothing. Nothing no, harmful. Yeah. It's not damaging to your lungs because you I mean, I'm a, a singer. Test. You're good. <laughs> so, for all my singers out here, also, you know, this is totally safe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, th those are my, oh, my solid three. One. Oh. Okay, well, my last one here, it's a book. Obviously, it is not always this book, but I usually will have a book on me. I love a lot of self-help books, but, you know, I really love um, short stories, too, so I'll probably have that on me as well. I just love a book, and this one is from the library. Um, that is, I'm their biggest supporter. Having fun isn't hard Possibly. when you've got a library card. <laughs> So true. <laughs> I might even be their biggest funder because I stay with late books and like <laughs> overdue fees. It hasn't been so bad here in Maryland because they will do automatic renewals for you, mm. which is wonderful. But in Virginia, nice. they don't do that. They don't play that. <laughs> yeah, there's no, hey, your book is like overdue. It's just like, fees. Right. <laughs> Okay, so this one is your illustrated guide to becoming one with the universe by Yumi Sakugawa. Yes, she's so awesome. Follow yeah. her. Now, she, it says here, author of I Think I Am in Friend Love With You, which I haven't read that one. But the other one she had was more like life hacks and mm. tips. And that one was really cute. It's like really cute illustrations in here. So good. And just really good information. And I appreciate these because I do a lot of reading as it is, like a lot of research for my work and just, you know, trying to stay on top of different trends and birth world and things like that. Mm. I do a lot of reading in terms of homeschool, getting together lesson plans and things like that for the kids. So it's nice to have just like a really powerful, meaningful, but just simple, simple. fun book to read so I, I love, love it I love it yeah. I have one of her books too do you it's more of like a comic based one mm -hmm. um on Ikebana which oh, is nice. like a Japanese form of um flower arranging oh, that's not at all what I thought it was okay. oh. <laughs> but yeah like, I love her illustrations Shannon and I when we were growing up we used to like go to these um stores and get these like cute Stickers yes, and stickers. like little notebooks. The pencils. Remember the pencils where you pull it out and you add yep. it to the top end? Which is cute little illustrations. So, like, yeah. illustrations are life. That's where yeah, I first fun. learned to do uh, the lettering where you write the letter and then put the little bubbles. Oh, on the ends yeah. Because they used to do that at San Rio. They had this woman, she like personalized my water bottle. <laughs> And nice. she did that and I fell in love with it and I've been doing letters like that ever since. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Keeping that inner child alive. Yes. So, so yeah. thank you, Yumi. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Yumi. <laughs> um, part two of this video, we're going to bring you into our home spaces oh, and okay. show you what we like to keep around us in mm -hmm. our home space. Yeah. So parts of ourselves that we keep with us at all times. And then what we keep in our homes. It's in our homes that we yeah. keep around us. So stay tuned for part two. Of uh -huh. episode two. Of episode two. Double dose. Double dose. Double your pleasure. Double your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Twin booty is I knew that was coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. If you had even just a teeny bit of fun, then please like the video and subscribe if you wanna do this again sometime. Peace out.